Hello, a quick video today on all things micro SD card. Uh, which ones to use and where to put them? Because I am still getting questions on which SD card slot to use. And more importantly, I'm still hearing of drones or the app or the remote freezing in mid-flight, which is never a good thing. And I can explain why. So look, um, first off, card slot on the back of the drone uh, captures the full high quality resolution video and the picture files directly whilst you're filming. This is the crucial card to have inserted, and it's one that needs to be a very high capacity and fast write speed. I always put a link in the video notes on all of my videos to the SanDisk cards that I use and get from Amazon. Uh, 4K video with a high bit rate, it's a lot of data to write to a card, and a cheap, low speed card will cause you problems like slow video recording or burst shots. And it can even cause the remote to freeze if it gets its knickers in a twist, trying to write data faster than the card can actually handle. So my advice is very much get a good 64 or 128 gig card in there with a write speed of at least 80 to 90 megabits per second. Now, second card in the remote is not quite as important. It's only there for capturing screen recordings and also offline map tiles. Screen recording, it's a useful feature I use a lot when I want to incorporate flight screens when I'm making videos for YouTube. It records a low quality 720p screen grab of the screen and all the flight data. And it's stored in the file section called Movies on the SD card. You do have to manually start screen recording each time you fly. Uh, you do that by sliding down from the top of the screen on the remote and tapping the screen record button. As said, it's very useful for me and it may be good for you as well. It's a good way of reviewing your flight. But remember, it is very re uh, low resolution. It's nowhere near as good as the quality video you're gonna record on the main drone itself. I also said the SD card on the remote is also there for storing offline map tiles. Now this is really useful if you know where you're going to be flying and you want to store or download uh, the maps in advance to avoid having to tether your remote to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. Or worse, if you know that the area you're going flying in has got no mobile or cell phone signal. Caching your maps, it's, it, it's great. It's very, very easy and you can actually store multiple maps. Um, all you've got to do is turn on the remote and make sure you've turned on the Wi-Fi on the remote. Uh, slide down the screen and tap the Wi-Fi connect button. Obviously, you can do this in your home before you've set out for the day. Then simply tap the profile option on the screen. And down here, you can see offline maps. This brings up the map view and lets you slide the map around the country, zooming in and by pinching and dragging the screen to get the exact area that you want to download. And it even gives you a kind of running total of how big the file will be. And when you're ready to download it and save it, you simply tap the little uh, down arrow, the download option, type in a little name for the file and let it download. This card though, it can be a lot smaller capacity and it, it can even be a slower write speed. It, it's not a very important card. It's only going to be recording low resolution video. So personally, you may not want to waste uh, your money on a decent card. But alternatively, if you do put a very good decent card in here, then this becomes a great spare card if you're out in the field and realize you've actually left your proper SD card in the computer at home. You can very easily take this out and put it into here, because you can fly without a card in the remote control. Anyway, look, handy little tip there, and now you know what both slots actually do. This one, absolutely vital, you need a good card. Um, this one, not quite so important, but it's a good place to store a backup card if you want to keep all your bases covered. So that's it, super quick video today. Next week, heading down to Stonehenge, Wiltshire, and hopefully North Wales as well in the van. So, um, good fun week coming up. As ever, hit the sub, ding the dong. Cyclists going past, thank you Ted. But look, as ever, um, give me a little thumbs up, help the video along, and if you haven't already, hit the sub, ding the dong, get notified each time I put something out. Either way, wherever in the world you are, until next time, have fun, happy flying.